When you're modeling your project, one way to keep it organized is by using groups. So basically we can select a bunch of elements. So I'm gonna select those sofa modules here and we can group them together. To do that, we go to edit, grouping, group, or we can use the shortcut command G on the Mac or control G on the Windows. And now we have this as one element. So when I click in one, I select them all. So now I can use control D to drag it around. So it's one group. Sometimes when you model the wall using the rectangular method, the walls will come as one group as well. So if you want to, you can ungroup them by going on edit, grouping and ungroup, or you can use the shortcut option command G on the Mac or control shift G on the windows. So right now, this is not a group anymore. Also, if you want to edit one of the elements that is inside a group, you don't need to ungroup it and then group it again. Sometimes this is going to take too much time. What you can do is use this icon here on the top to suspend groups temporarily or use the shortcut option G on the Mac or Alt G on the Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So now I suspended the groups temporarily. I can click in one of those objects, change it, stretch it down. And then when I go ahead and uncheck that suspend groups, it goes back to becoming a group. So that's a way for you to edit one element without having to ungroup everything.